Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the buttons block in Cadence. This is a mini series on taking a look at Cadence blocks one by one. To get started let's open up a brand new blank page and analyze this block on its own. So there's a couple of ways to do this. If you're on your front end um, there's this top toolbar. Hover over the new button and click on page. Alternatively if you are on your dashboard head over to your left hand sidebar Hover down to Pages and click on Add New Page. All right, once we're here in the Block Editor, let's do some housekeeping things. If there isn't this right-hand sidebar here, there's a button beside Publish. Click on that. It's called Settings. This is where all of our parameters to toggle and configure will appear. Next, let's give our page a title. Okay, and last but not least, let's add the block itself. There's this blue button over here with a plus icon. Click on that. It's called a block inserter. We can either search for the icon or scroll down. But since Cadence Blocks is here up top of list, uh, we don't have to scroll down too far. There we go. Buttons advanced. Uh, either click on that or drag and drop that anywhere on your workspace. Let's go ahead and close this. And there are a few options to choose from. So, um, with our uh, parent block over here, we have our alignment options, right? Vertical alignment. All right, we'll just keep it centered for this video. We can orient this um, a certain way, right? And our advanced options are just our padding and margin and our HTML anchor and additional CSS classes. Now we've clicked on the button itself. There are a few different options. Now we can move it left to right if we have a uh, an additional one over here we can add before or after if we wanted to make like a menu or something right we can move this here as you can see and we can change our um, items um, alignment from here as well well we'll keep things centered just to make it easier easier for us to look at we can change the link from here we can add uh, tooltips um, left and then you can make this whoop let me make this one right. And you can see the tool tips um, end up over there when you hover over them. And we can change our uh, copy styles. And we have our topography options here, as well as our other options over there. But if we're going to change the typography options, let's go ahead and edit it from over here. So button link, we'll just put the placeholder on there for now. All right. We can probably put a, a different page on there. Um, we can change the button styles, right, from the theme or fill or outline. I'll make this one fill and we'll make this one outline just to make sure we can see the difference. We have the button size, um, small, medium, large, XL. We can make it the fixed size according to pixels or percent. Um, we can make it full width or we can just make it automatic like this. Next, we have different styles. Now we have our um, text type, which we can... Um, customize here and let's go ahead and type something here um, one and over here two okay we can go ahead and change our color to be uh, a solid color here let's make it uh, green to make it stand out we can change the background color to be something else preferably something that stands out okay and then we can also add a border right what size and how many pixels let's say three pixels and we can change the style to be any one of these and we can change the border radius on all of them right to make it a round button we can also add a shadow to it um, we can inset the shadow to be inside okay to make it a bit darker or make it on the outside. There you go. Hopefully you can see that. And we can also use uh, gradients for these. We also change the color of these when we hover over them. All right. And uh, the background color as well. When we hover over it, we want red. Okay. And then we can also change the border radius when we hover on it, I believe. There we go. Yeah, it becomes square once we hover over it. And we can also change the shadow. And for our icon settings, we can add an icon to this. Um, it's by clicking on this. And we can, uh, let's see, 
one, if that exists. Uh, and it doesn't. So let's go ahead and just choose um, something here, like this check button, check icon. Okay, we can change the, the um, location from left and right. We can make it an icon only button, but we can have it with text as well. We can change the icon size. Also change the icon color if we wanted to, and then change the um, hover state um, icon color, make it white. There you go. Oops. Let's click on that. And um, we can change the icon padding as well. So uh, from the right side, we can distance it, space it out a bit, I believe. Or from the left, if it will show anything for us. And we can also add a title for this for screen readers if we wanted um, to make it accessible for that. And next we have our typography settings, which we can change um, the size of our font, right? And the button size will adjust. We can change the line height. We can change the letter case from here. Um, we can change the fonts from here, right? Just, oops, <laughs> that seemed too nice. Let's choose a different one. Sure, and we can change our font weight and font style depending on if the font will allow for it. Um, we can change the letter spacing, maybe three pixels, right? We can change um, an underline on it or none. And we can do the same for this button. We'll keep this in default just for a uh, comparison. And then for advanced settings, it's um, padding, margins, uh, area label. Um, we can save this as our default button template if we wanted to add a bunch of buttons and just wanted to change the text or the icons and an HTML anchor and additional CSS classes. So let's go ahead and click on publish to save our uh, work here and take a look at how it looks like on our live site. Okay, with that said, let's click on view page. And here we have our cadence buttons with our tooltips and our hover customizations. Here's um, how it looks like when we customize it. Here's how it looks like on default. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to our channel as it really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. Show this kind of video to other nerds like us. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.